Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brogan. You are probably wondering where the hell I've been. Well, I have been in the UK for three weeks. I went home to visit my family because it's been such a long time since I've seen them. Um, my family haven't ever met my husband, so it was really important that they met him. Um, and uh, my mum's met him because my mum came over but no one else had. So I wanted everyone to meet him and I wanted to just see all my friends and do a little bit of shopping because shopping in England is amazing. Or at least I thought it was. England's got really expensive. I cannot actually believe how expensive clothes are in England. Like I was walking around and I was practically like, I'd probably better off to buy this in Perth. So I didn't get as much as I thought I would. And because the weather was so hot, I ended up walking around for three weeks in the same two jumpsuits. <laughs> um, but I did get quite a few clothes for winter. And I actually just rediscovered my style. And I'll go over that in a couple of videos because basically I can't fit everything in that I bought in the UK into this one video because we would be here for about three hours. Now, I also had a bit of an issue on the way home. Um, my husband, He's deodorant, no, not deodorant, perfume. What do they call it for men? Perfume. Is it still perfume? I think so. His perfume, even though it was wrapped in bubble wrap, actually started spraying while in the case, I can only assume, because there's no leaks coming elsewhere, and went all over my receipts, which is super bloody annoying. And I can't look back on bank statements because my husband also bought stuff. So with some things, I'm gonna to have to just give you an overall of what I spent. Some things I'll have to go from memory and some things I have the actual receipt for. So for today's video, I have the receipt, but I also can't read what's what because I took all of the um, labels off of the clothes because I was wearing them over there. So it's a little bit of a mess, but I thought I'd show you what I got anyway. And today is pretty much PJs because as you probably know I'm a bit in love with my PJs and I wanted to get loads of PJs from Primark because that's where I usually get my PJs from and they usually last me absolute years. I'm still wearing my ones from six years ago. That's how long they last. But to be honest guys Primark in general was one massive disappointment. I feel like I can get the same things in Kmart which I really, I remember Primark being unreal. And I think I'm looking back for rose tinted glasses. So I always felt like Australia was really expensive, but I'm not so sure anymore. I think it's the other way around. No, it's not the other way around, but I think England's quickly catching up, which yeah, is a bit gutting. Anyway, let's get into today's video. Oh, also guys, while I was over there, I think that I found my style. I think I now know what my style is. And I'm gonna go into that in another video, but I'm pretty impressed. Also, do you like my hair? It's new. And well, actually I, I got it done before we went. And I was like, do you know what? I think I just want a, a mum style. So I went for a mum style. What do you reckon? I think it looks good. It looks pretty bad today actually. And it looks really yellow today. I think I need to put a bit of a toner in it. Anyway, let's get into the video and I can share with you what I got. So first I'm gonna start with accessories because I was a bit like, mm, I'm not gonna get any accessories from Primark because they'll probably just break. Well, turns out they actually do amazing accessories. So, actually not amazing, no, that's a lie, <laughs> it's Primark. But they do really good accessories. So anyway, I was in the look, I was in the market, was that right? Yeah, I was in the market for some sunnies because mine are absolutely rubbish. Mine, as my husband says, are just glass. He's like, you are literally wearing glass is. That's it, they're not, they don't do anything. So I was like, I need to get some proper glasses. So I did, which is gonna be in another video. Then I also thought, mm, I'm gonna get some backups. So I'm gonna start with the little bit daring ones first. Guys, these were a pound, a pound. That works out as $2. Couldn't get that in Kmart. So some of the stuff is really good. What do you reckon? Oh, you can see my lights. Woo! You can see my lights in that. 
Yeah, it's a bit awful with my lighting. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But this is the first pair. They're actually super cute. So they're like, you know, that leopard print style, which we all know is my secret fave. Although, now that I've realised my new style, no, it's not anymore. I'm going to come away from leopard print. Not that I ever was on leopard print because no one's ever seen me out in leopard print, let's face it. Um, oh, the other pair's leopard print. I didn't even notice that. Again, a pound, guys. A pound. They don't sit on your face well, but I mean, these could be for the car. These could be for walking around. You know, I don't have to tell you what sunglasses are for, I'm sure. <laughs> Uh, shut up, Brega. We all know where, where you wear sunglasses. Anyway, they could be for anywhere, but they were a pound. And then lastly for my accessories are these. Now, sorry, I've got one of them missing because I wore them last night because we went out for dinner last night. Can't really say dinner because it was like, you know, a pub. But we went out last night and I thought, do you know what? I'm going to dress up in all my new clothes, which is why they're actually all dirty today. Like, hang on, sorry, because I'm filming another video today. So the ones I'm going to be showing you in the next video are actually really dirty, <laughs> but hey ho. Um, so these are very cute. So we've got pearl, we've got silver, and then we've got like a little diamante, which I'm not too keen on. But two pounds, practically, practi not practically, they are around $4. So it's just under $4 that these are coming on. I, again, I don't think you can get that in Kmart. I'm not too sure, but I don't think you can. So... I think that's a bloody good buy. So, moving on. Now, I was gonna show you my PJ sets first, but I actually think that I'll do the tops first that I got, then the shoes, and then the PJs, because the PJs are just out real. Anyway, so I picked this up. Now, I can't find how much this was, but honestly, guys, I don't think it was any more than four pounds, so $8 at max. This is just like, what is it? Like a little bodysuit. And I don't know why I can't find it on the primer on the on the receipt because it should just say bodysuit, but it doesn't. No, it doesn't. I don't know why, honestly. Like why do receipts have to be so difficult to read? Since doing all these videos, I'm just like, guys, can you just put white top, black top? I mean, it's not that hard. So this one is a medium and it's a stretch body. And again, like if it says stretch body in it, why doesn't it say stretch body on this? It doesn't, just so you know. But I actually really like this. Now I just went in for a plain white vest top and I also bought a black t-shirt, but I'm not gonna show you a black t-shirt, who wants to see that? But I went in for a plain white vest top and I couldn't, white vest top, white t-shirt, and I couldn't find one. So I was like, okay, I'll get a white vest top. And again, I couldn't find a nice one because they're all like up here and you know, I don't want to get the goods out, but I also don't want to, like, you know, be up here. So this one is just a nice cut, so it's not too high. It's not like up, you know, here. It's like here. Um, and it just looks nice with a pair of jeans and a bell and a cardigan over the top, which was what I thought I was going to be wearing because I didn't realise how bloody hot it was going to be. So I didn't buy any shorts because I couldn't find any shorts because, guys, I'm literally a size 18 in shorts, and nowhere does that. Which also reminds me that I put on two kilos while I was away, even though I've had hypnosis and don't eat chocolate anymore. Uh, why am I still putting on weight? Actually, I know why, because we ate out every night and I did eat chocolate biscuits, like all chocolate biscuits. No, I did not. I did eat biscuits all the time because I was like, everyone else was eating chocolate and I was like, I'm just gonna have a biscuit just to satisfy my little craving. Um, so yeah, I put on two kilos, which I mean, isn't the end of the world, but I'm like, fuck's sake. Like, got rid of my chocolate habit because I didn't want to get fat. And now I've still put on two kilos, but I'm planning on losing a bit of weight because now I'm back, I'm being pretty strict with my food. Anyway, let's carry on. Love this top, thought it was really cute. Looks really nice on, it's just a basic tee. You know, who cares? It's not really that amazing, is it? Okay, so I believe this one was six pounds, which is about $12. Now this, is like a little bodysuit that goes underneath clothes because I was planning on getting um, some white clothes and I didn't want to show off anything sort of underneath. I think it's nice to not show if you're wearing darker underwear or you know if you're if it's see-through, you don't want to be see-through. So I got these and it clips up underneath, super bloody annoying because 
you know, girls, we know why it's annoying. I don't need to say why it's annoying because I know weird people are watching this video as we speak because I've had a few little bit different followers follow me lately who tend to follow a little bit more <coughs> of a sexy type of um, YouTuber rather than me. And I'm like, why are you following me at the moment? And I think it's because I did the sportswear video and I think that they think I'm gonna get the goods out. Guys, just so you know, today I'm not gonna try on these clothes because they're PJ sets. I don't think I really wanna be on camera in my PJs because they're all short shorts, short tops. And like I say, those creepy people that are following me, you're not gonna see me. Actually, let me tell you the sizes of this. So I picked this up in a large UK 14 to 16. And it actually fits really nicely. So there you go. Okay, on to my next set. Now, I'm gonna go in order of like. Okay, so how much I like these. These are nice, but I don't think I like them as much as the others. Okay, for this set, each piece was £3.50, which is $7 or just under. This is my least favourite of my PJ sets, but everyone needs a plain PJ set. So it's these shorts which I got in the large size 14 to 16. These are super cute. They've got a little bit of that frill detail at the bottom, which I really like. I, don't, I can't remember what it's called, um, but I really like them. I think this way, I think they'll be fantastic in summer because you don't want to wear, you know, big thick PJs in summer. Who wants to wear those? And for $7 each, that's what, like £14 for the set. I think that is super good. Um, and I got the top. So the top is like a short top. Again, I'm not gonna be showing anyone these. Like these aren't gonna be my PJs that I answer the door in, let's face it. Um, but they're super cute. I like them, just like a little cami top. Love the color. I think the green's nice. I'm going for green, a green vibe. Oh, I'm wearing a green top too. I'm going for a green vibe in my house at the moment. And I feel like that's the color that I want. So maybe if I take that into a paint shop, I wonder if they will give me that color back. You know how they can match, colour match? I don't know. Maybe they can. Anyway, on to the next piece. This one is super cute. I absolutely love it. And this is just showing how amazing the PJ sets are getting because the next one takes that one like up a whole new level. I believe they were both £4.50, which works out to $9. Is that right? $9 each. So it's $18 for the pair. Now, I don't know what um, material these are. Let me just check because, I mean, they're so nice. They're probably polyester or something, aren't they? Let's face it. Oh, elastin polyester. <laughs> me always going on about how much I hate polyester and now I feel like it's all I buy. I feel like it's all that's available. So look at the cute little pattern. Can you see that? Adorable. And it's just like this cute cami top. Let me put the shorts down for a sec. It's this cute cami top, like a long top, it's not short. And then we've got the shorts as well. Why did I say shorts like that, shorts? Um, we've got the shorts as well, and I've got these in the large. I mean, how cute are these? Guys, I love them, look at the colors. They just remind me of like the 60s. Is it the 60s? I don't know. I feel like my hair's a bit like the 60s actually. I feel like if I did a bit of a, bit of a what is it, beehive? Do they call it beehive? A bouffant, is that it? I don't know. If I did a bit of a puff at the back, I think I could look pretty 60s. But I don't know, uh, that's not the look I'm going for. That's not the look that I found for myself. Okay, so my next PJs are these. Now these, these are close to being my favorite because I absolutely love them and I feel like they're more of a mum PJ than they are, like, than the others are. Oh wait, hang on, that doesn't make sense. They're more of a mum PJ and my others are more childish, like kids PJs. Like kids would buy them, but I decided to buy them. So, these, oh my God, how cute are they? Oh, they've got hair on them and that's gonna show up on the camera. How cute are they? Yes, a scallop, scallop, that's it, a scallop. They've got the scallop type of detail. I don't know what you call that. Look, they're just so cute. I love them. I would wear these out, I think, like the top, not the, not the shorts. Come on, let's, let's not go too far. Now, these ones were 
So the top was six pounds and the bottoms were seven pounds. So that's 12 and $14. So that's what, 26, $26. I think I've got that right. I mean, I don't know. I think it's worth it for these ones because I just love them. I just think they're so cool. Look, they're so cool. I got these in the medium. I don't know why I got them in the medium. I got the top in the medium and the the bottoms in the large. I think because they look stretchy. So I feel like they're going to lose their shape quite easily. I absolutely love these. I just think they're so gorgeous. They're going like well with my vibe right now. Um, you know, who has a PJ vibe? Me. Me. That's how much of a diva I am at the moment. I've got a PJ vibe. Anyway, my next ones. Now, these... There's two sets here. One of them is like my ultimate favorite and the other one I just absolutely love, but they're pretty similar. Now, these ones are the ones that I like. Now they're wet because I've washed them. Um, so they're a little bit damp. I like these ones. They're like, they're Minnie and Mickey Mouse. I got this in the large. It's like a tank top. It is so cute, but I mean, like, I'm in my 30s wearing this stuff. I mean, I need to grow up probably, but I actually, on a funny note, did pick up a goofy set to wear out, right? To wear out. My sister allowed me to pick up this goofy set, right? It had a big goofy logo face on it. And it had like really cute shorts with like a tiny little goofy on the short. And I was like, I think I'm going to get this because we went shopping for the day and I couldn't find anything. And so I think I got desperate, you know, I think I got really desperate. So I was like, I'm going to get this goofy outfit. Oh my God. If I'd have got that back here and been like, where am I going to wear this to? It had goofy on the front of it. I don't know what I was thinking. I honestly don't know what I was thinking. I don't know what she was thinking, allowing me to buy it either. I took it back. I was like, nah, I can't do this. I can't, I can't live my life this way. But it was literally this on the front of it, like a big, massive goofy. All I needed was the goofy hat and I looked like I was going to Disney every day. Honestly, it was ridiculous. I don't know why I bought it, I honestly don't. I, I felt desperate in the moment, which I never actually feel because I don't ever feel pressure to buy stuff when I'm shopping. In fact, I get a buzz when I don't buy stuff when I'm shopping. Does anyone else get that? I don't know, maybe it's just me, I'm weird. But it was like a desperation of, like I, I'd been there almost three weeks at this point and I was like, and I've not found a thing. I need clothes. <laughs> So I bought a goofy outfit. Anyway, absolutely love this one. It comes with shorts. Again, I said shorts. I don't know why I keep saying that. It comes with shorts, which are super cute. So these ones are absolutely adorable. Oh, it would help if I was holding them right. And I got the shorts in the large, which I just fell in love with. I just thought they were so sweet. This whole set was 11 pounds, so $22 for the whole set. I think that's cheaper than the other ones. Insane, absolutely insane. But my favorite pair that I got, and I'm so glad I picked these up because there were none left in the store. So these are a slightly smaller size than what I would usually get, but they fit me really nicely. So sometimes I think I get a bigger size so that I feel more comfortable, but it actually makes me look a bit more frumpy. I mean, not that it matters in PJs, but I got this set. Oh my God. They're the same. They're pretty much the same as the last set, but they're Hello Kitty. <gasps> Look! Oh my God, they're so adorable. They're so adorable. Oh, they're really dirty, actually. <laughs> Super dirty. Um, I got these in a medium. So I wouldn't usually get a medium because that is a 10 to 12, is it? 12 to 14. So I wouldn't usually get that, but I was like, nah, I need to because these were literally, it was the last one hanging up on its own. I looked all around the store, couldn't find them. And I was like, I'm gonna get these because you know, usually you find like a size six hanging up and you know, you can't get them. And then the bottoms are a medium as well, 12 to 14. And I just love them. Honestly, this set guys is unreal. It's just so cute. I absolutely love it. I'm addicted, absolutely addicted. Um, so, they're my PJs. They were $11 as well because they were a set. So I'm assuming they were $11. I don't know. But I'm going to put up, I'm going to add up how much I actually spent 
and I'm gonna put it down in the description of what I actually spent because I actually don't know. So anyway, onto the shoes, which I was supposed to do before the PJs, but I guess I got carried away. Now, my family actually bullied me <laughs> over these shoes. They kept saying, and if you're from the UK, you'll know this term, are you going to school in your plimp soles? All right, these. Now, I had a pair of these from Primark from six years ago <laughs> that I threw while I was in the UK because they had a hole in the bottom. I am addicted to these shoes. I love them. They're just plain, they're black, they're easy to wear, they're comfortable on my feet, they just feel nice. And my family literally ripped me. They're like, you've got massive toes in these because like the front is so long. They literally ripped the crap out of me for wearing these. I love them. And I'm not gonna go and buy a Converse because it's too expensive. I mean, I know I've just bought all of this stuff, but it's too expensive to buy Converse. So I just buy cheap little pumps that, yes, okay, are a school plimp sole. You know, we used to wear these, if, you do, if you're Australian watching this, we used to wear these at gym, like in the gym, like in PE, like at school. <laughs> But, I mean, who doesn't love these? They were six pounds, $12. I mean, come on, let's get over it, guys. I love these. I felt like I really had to go into bat for myself because I was like, nah, these are a gem. I'm in love with them. Let's not hate my plimp soles, all right? So these were an absolute bargain, six pounds, $12. My family would say that, you know, you probably couldn't pay them to wear them. Um, but, I don't know, I think they're all right. I like them. Next up are these bad boys. I absolutely love these. I think they're really cute. My family liked these, so <laughs> I was pretty happy with that. They were seven pounds, so I think they were a good buy. Now the next pair, I would say I got so bullied over. <laughs> these ones, everyone was literally like, oh my God, no, you're not wearing those out with me. So, <laughs> And I say bullied loosely because I know bullied is, you know, it's a, it's a really strong term and I shouldn't use that lightly, but I'm just using it in the context of joking around with my family. But these shoes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I'm in love with these and they are so comfortable. And I think we all know by now, I don't always go for fashion when it comes to shoes. I like to have shoes that feel comfortable look at the wedge on them i'm never going to be feeling stones under my feet with these on am i i love them absolutely love them but i did go for these for beauty so i'm not going to lie and say they're an ugly shoe because i really like them and i don't think that they're ugly at all i mean look at them look at the buckle on them i mean honestly i wore these with a cute little jumpsuit mate they're amazing i'm sorry they're amazing i absolutely love them they're just so cute like they go with everything, they look super cool. I love the black sole. I love the fact that the, the top is cream and the bottom's black. I love it. I think it's beautiful. Absolutely love it. And if my family are watching right now, I'm gonna wear these every bloody day. So, <laughs> I'm only joking, no, I'm joking. No, but I am gonna wear them every day. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything that I bought. Guys, I think I really got a good bargain with all of this stuff, but I hate to say it, Primark didn't have much else. It really honestly didn't. So I bought bras in there that broke before the end of my holiday. I mean, seriously, what the hell? The wire came out. So I went into Asda, which my family said was amazing for bras, and I have to say they've been unreal. So if you are going to the UK on a trip, Asda, George, are best for bras they've been amazing um and primark yeah it really didn't offer much children's clothes perfect amazing great value was okay a little bit different to what we can get at kmart but really overall i wasn't impressed i'm not gonna lie i wasn't massively impressed but saying that i've got some good bargains and i feel like if i wanted to buy pjs at peter alexander that look like this i'd be paying 150 dollars. i mean get over it get real i'm not paying those sort of prices god i got really aggressive just then but i'm really honestly not yeah i'm just not doing it i'm not paying those types of prices it's not it's not on it's not on it's not on i i'm not even joking there 
the prices of those pajamas the prices of certain items anyway in general in australia it's not on we can't keep going this way actually in the uk as well because obviously i've just said that uk is pretty expensive guys we can't keep going this way we we might as well all shop local because the prices are absolutely getting ridiculous which i'm an advocate for anyway but anyway rant over why do i always do this i was going to these little rants i th i think i come across as like a super angry person but i'm really not i think it's just because i'm talking to myself right now and sometimes when i'm talking to myself i get super critical of everything because you know right now i i'm not talking to you guys right now i'm just talking to me in a camera where i can see myself um and i get super like you know i get on my high horse about stuff because i think that it's just going to be me seeing it and then i put these videos up and people you know put comments or message me and i'm like oh yeah everyone's seeing this so <laughs> anyway that's everything from me now in my next video yes i'm gonna be wearing this shirt again because hey i'm doing more than video one i'm doing more than one video today and i'm not changing guys we need to start setting a standard that it's okay to wear the same bloody thing in different videos, all right? So, rant over. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.